this is kind of spooky, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Barrett and I are here. We're going to do a little testing on the Void Hawk flashlights. We're going to do Lumens versus Lux. And actually, it's not a versus thing. This thing, the light on the camera is about to blind me. Here, let me point towards you a little bit. Oh. Uh, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> and y'all may hear some background noise because we're here on the job. Lumens is a, is a rating that's uh, applied. It's actually the amount of light given off at the source, right? Lux is a, a rating or a, a measurement of light at a given distance. You know, it's the amount of light striking that surface. So, I don't know, I'm not a scientist, but I kind of understand the difference. <laughs> so, we're going to kind of demonstrate the difference uh, here in this dark, scary basement. Okay, so what we have are Void Hawk flashlights. So far, I'm digging them very much. And this is the Micro Raptor 300 lumen. This is the Mini Raptor at 600 lumen. And this is the Veloc Velociraptor, <laughs> the big baby, at 800. So what we're going to do, Barrett, is we're going to, we're at five feet from the wall, okay? And we're going to hold our trusty new Lux meter, trusty non-rusty Lux meter that came in this cute little package here. Very cool. And I forgot the manufacturer. I'll just show you right there. Cybertech. There we go. So this is the LX1010. BS. Well, that's not a very good <laughs> name, model name, model number. But uh, let's see, here's the little cover that goes on it, goes on the front of it. Remove this cover before use. That's a good idea. So anyway, this is the surface that collects the, the light to measure for Lux, the Lux reading. So anyway, Barrett, what I thought you'd do is hold this um, over there, and then we'll... I'll, I'll take the different flashlights and show them. And we're going to go with the um, Micro Raptor first. At 300, raised at 300 lumen. Woo! Okay, so <clears throat> again, we're at five feet, right, Barrett? Mm -hmm. And we're, our, we're on flood. So let's see, let me zoom in so people can just see that more than the flashlight itself. That's probably more important. Okay, so, and I'm not gonna try to keep up with the st statistics here. I'll document them later through annotations. So is that low? Let's see. That's off. That's one setting. That's the low setting. That's the strobe, that'll freak it out. And that's high. And now what I'm gonna do now is zoom because these trusty flashlights have a you know zoom on them and it's kind of funny because it's basically in the shape of the LED. See that? The shape of the light being emitted. Now is that set on the lowest setting? Yep. Okay. Okay. So I'll have to make sure I get the conversion correct corrected so that's around is it is it hovering around 1600 1640 yeah now as i zoom out and this is this will show you the difference in lumen and lux not really the difference but i'm going to zoom out and you can kind of follow it going down right mm -hmm. so the lux measurement is more of a um a measurement also of light over space and time. Yep. Okay, so that was the Micro Raptor. Okay, so this is going to be, yeah, the Mini Raptor. We have one without anything. Huh? We have zero to one without anything. Oh, you have, okay. All right, so now this is the, this is rated at 600 lumen at the source. And so, uh, I think I think the, the difference, uh, Barrett and I were noticing that the Mini Raptor 
seems brighter, but it's because, and this is where your lux meter comes in, because it's measured over an area. You see, Barry, see how much wider yeah, the area wide. is on the. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to even move this it's about just to sh 30. show. Right. Yeah, but what I'm saying is that this may be the same. This may re read the same lux reading, but it's over a broader area. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So that's where the value comes in. So now let's zoom in and we'll see here. Now this is the other thing we were noticing that this doesn't concentrate the light as much. So you see, that's what I was thinking. The, the, the micro raptor at five feet is concentrating more light on this zoom than than the uh, this uh, mini raptor, right? This one's getting about 1400. Yeah, I've got it zoomed in so they can see the readings. Now let's zoom out again. But see, the the I don't know. I'm, I may not be explaining myself correctly, but the the value to the to the the mini raptor is not that it's brighter necessarily, but it's it's it covers more area. And see, this is going to show up big time with this uh, Velociraptor. Okay, this is going to show you the difference. Okay, this is going to show you right here. Okay, so this is rated at 800 lumen. Uh, we're at five feet away, and of course. Um, this again it's spread out over a wide area okay and then we'll just zoom in and see what we get out of this baby I don't know why I keep wanting to put the little notches up like it like it matters right <laughs> oh, it's freaking it out now it's only it's really freaking it out is it it's giving us one like it's Oh, put it on. Uh, put it on the next level. Okay, so we should have probably measured them all on that same. Now I'm gonna have to do math. Is it showing the same if I point it directly at it? Now we're getting about 25. Is there a decimal there, or is that it's just it a? Says times 10. <laughs> right, so that's 2450 or whatever. Okay. Yeah, so, okay, so I'm going to zoom out. And that's um, basically a thousand yeah. lumen, right? Uh -huh. No, times what? Times 10. Times 10, okay. So, yeah. Uh, no, it would be a hundred. 10 times 10 is a hundred lux, not lumen. We gotta keep our terminology straight here. This is really not gonna be a scientific video, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are gonna have to determine for yourself. Uh, and of course, that's what everybody does anyway. So anyway, now let's do this, Barrett, to keep it. We'll keep it on. Let me go back to the. What I'm gonna do is get the mini, the micro raptor out. I'm gonna zoom it in. And we'll put the, let me put the two, let me zoom out just a little bit. Now you see the, this is the Velociraptor. This is the Micro Raptor. Okay? So I'm going to put the, this is the Micro Raptor. I'm moving the Velociraptor away. What does that say? 200? Yeah, on 2,000. So it's basically 2,000. Okay, so I'm going to replace that with the, and you see, there's not much difference at five feet, and that shows you uh, what, that, that shows you how the, um, how this works, <laughs> that just because you have a flashlight, let me zoom in, just because you have a flashlight that's rated at a thousand lumen, uh, that's just, that's talking about, um, it's going to give you more volume of light at a distance. It's not going to give you a brighter light. So, 
So that's the Velociraptor. I'm going to move that out of the way. I'm going to put the Micro Raptor. So see, I can run it. If I really concentrate it, I can almost get it up to 2,000. Almost. Yeah. I mean, there is a difference, obviously, but I'm, I'm just trying to... You're going from 300, this is 300 lumen at the flashlight. I got it 2,000 that time, right? Yep. And then I got 300 lumen at the flashlight and 2,000 lux there. And I've got a little more with the 800 lumen at five feet. But now if we go to start, you know, comparing this at, uh, you know, 300 meters, you know, then, then you can see a difference. You know, there's the, let me back out. You know, it's, that's the Velociraptor at five feet versus the, the Micro Raptor. What's that saying, Barrett? Thir 13? So that's 1,300, 1,200. Now we go to five feet with the... 1,000. Yeah, because see, it's spread out over a wider area. I'll just zoom in to show that. Okay, that's the Velociraptor. At five feet, full, full volume. And that is the Micro Raptor. See? So if you... If you need a flashlight that just for short distances, you're going to get the same amount of light up, you know, inside a room with the Micro Raptor as you will the Velociraptor. And, and this is true with any any flashlight. Then you don't have to carry around this big honking, <laughs> you know, flashlight. So this is this is why we have different applications or different flashlights for different applications. Okay. That's the micro raptor at about uh, eight inches. Okay, now I'm going to turn on the. Okay, now turn that one off. Oh, this is the um, mini raptor at about eight inches off the meter. Okay, and then let's do the um, uh, velociraptor. Okay, right there. Okay. Oh, now this is what I'm not actually understanding. Is that go through the cycles and make sure that's uh... now? I charge these batteries. Should be the brightest one. Hmm. Hmm. I don't understand that. Do you? Are you at about eight inches? Why that's showing less? I guess the light again is more concentrated and that, that shows you, it's just another demonstration. You see the diameter of that light. We're eight inches away on all three of them, but the, the 800 lumens is being flooded wider than the, the, 300, lumen, the 300 lumen. Let's just go back to that one, Barrett. The 300 lumen, you see the radius is smaller, so it's a little brighter. Now you go to the uh, uh, micro raptor which to me is looking like the very best flashlight of all time for the money and, and I'm not doing a I'm not doing a review here or anything like that I'm just saying my knee-jerk reaction today is for the money the uh, the mini raptor is the is the bomb because at, at, at usable distances or at practical distances, you're getting very strong light mm -hmm. out of that puppy. And the batteries are, are all at the, well, there is a difference, okay? So what you have is just pure physics. You have, you know, two flashlights that are, this one's just a little bit bigger, but look at the difference in the battery. This is 1850, 18650 battery and this is the 14 I can't see 500 okay 800 milliamp 2600 milliamp so 
if you're, you know, comparable sized flashlight, um, to me, I'm really digging this one, the, uh, the Mini Raptor. This would be great to have in a purse or something. Uh, purse. You got, you got your purse, Barrett? <laughs> <laughs> the reason I said that is because I'm thinking about giving one of these to my wife uh, for her purse. So then the Velociraptor, a much bigger light, uh, uses two of the 18650s, two of the 2600 milliamp batteries. So, but there you're getting a volume of light. You're not getting necessarily brighter up closer <laughs> light or even brighter far away. You're just talking about the volumes of light. So I, I think it's, I mean this, they all have their application and uh, I'm digging them. So, um, what do you think, Barrett? I like that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's, get. that's pretty cool. Well, I don't know. There's there's a lot of numbers floating around out there. Yeah. <laughs> this this flashlight evaluating is a uh, it's hard work. I mean, there's lots of data that you got to keep up with. I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm just a practical guy, you know? I just want to know what works good. Yeah. That's what we do in Tennessee. No, it's very, I mean, I'm learning a lot through this experience with Void Hawk. I mean, especially having the light meter, the lux meter, and starting to research, you know, lumens and lux and luminous flux, all that good stuff. And uh, it, it, when you have all that background information in your head, it helps you evaluate what you, you know, what you want to purchase. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm not going to spend a lot of time. I, I, was, I told Barry, I said, we'll just get the, I may do a couple of calculations, but I'm not going to spend all day editing. I got stuff to do. We got to, we got to worry. We got to get, get ready to give away a, a cricket, man. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Um, anyway, I hope you all can uh, discern some something worthwhile or useless, useless, useful, <laughs> useful, <laughs> useless, useful out of the video. Barry, where's your guitar, man? Air guitar. guitar. <laughs> Air guitar, and I'll play it as we go out. Yeah. <laughs> Nice.